This is the ping before optimization. Holy shit! Fucking 130 ms. Bro, it is taking way longer to kill anybody in this high ping. Oh my shots are not getting registered. A lot of pacing too. This is literally unplayable. Bro, playing in this ping is not it. It's not it. And this is the ping after optimization. All right. Bro, for some reason I'm able to see everyone way faster than they do. Oh, bro, without doing all those optimizations, this. So all you gotta do is pretty simple. Use a wired connection and restart your router. After that, install this tool called a ping plotter. Download it, install it and open it. We can use the trial version itself, there is no need for the pro version. Now we are going to identify which is the fastest DNS available based on your location. So these are some commonly and safe to use DNS servers available right now. Now we are going to figure out which one gives you the fastest round trip MS available based on your location. I'll show you how. Type in the primary DNS one by one and we are going to identify which one gives you the lowest round trip MS available. So I'm going to test out the first Google's primary DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 and then we will run it for a couple of seconds. And we'll monitor the average round trip MS. The Google's primary DNS is giving me only around 2 MS, which is super low. And that is super good news. We will stop this and we will test out the next one. And if you see, this one is giving me 27.8 MS, which is nearly 28 MS ping. That is not good. So we will avoid that. Now, after testing all the primary DNS one by one, the Google's one was giving me the lowest round trip MS, which was only around 2. Now, that is the one I'm going to use. Similarly, you would have identified your own primary DNS, which was giving you the lowest round trip MS. So, that is the one you are supposed to use. Now, open control panel. Select network and internet. Select network and sharing center. And choose change adapter settings on the left. Now, right click on your network, which is most probably the Ethernet. Right click properties and select double click on the IP version 4. Now select the option use the following DNS server addresses. By default, this should be obtain a DNS server automatically. Now we are going to change that and set it to use the following DNS server addresses. Now, the, as I said before, the DNS that I'm going to use is Google's one. So if you see here, so this is the list. The one that I'm going to offer you, uh, Google's is 8.8.8.8 .8 and then the corresponding alternate DNS server is 8.8.4.4. So that is the one I'm going to apply to over here, 8.8.8.8 .8 and then the alternate DNS server 8.8.4.4. If you are using some other DNS, uh, for example, let's say if you're going to use a Cloudflare one, so then I will be using the preferred DNS server is 1.1.1.1.1 and then the alternate DNS server will be 1.0.0.1 and then click OK and then restart your PC. And the next important thing that we're going to do is port forwarding. Now open command prompt and then type ipconfig and note down the default gateway. Copy the IP address, open your browser and type the IP address that you saw. Now you should be seeing something like this. Now you need to enter your username and password. This username and password is nothing but your modem's login credential. This would have been given to you at the time of uh, setting your network by the ISP providers. If you don't know the ISP provider, there is no worries. You can simply call the ISP provider. They will give you the username and password within minutes. I got mine like that only. I just stated them that I don't know my username and password. So they just gave me over the call itself. So it's pretty easy only. After you have logged in, you need to identify an option called port forwarding. Mine was under the applications menu. For you, it might differ because each and every modem's user interface will be different. Now we need to create a port forwarding entry as exactly with those values that I'm showing on the screen. While creating, just make sure the protocol is TCP and UDP, not only TCP, not only UDP, TCP and UDP. And then insert a WAN start port as 3074, WAN end port as 27050. And then a LAN host start port as 3074 and LAN host end port as 27050. LAN host IP address. This is your PC's IP address. The way you can identify is the similarly how we did before. Open your command prompt or type in IP config and then you will see an IP address under the name of IPv4. That is your PC's IP address. You just copy that and paste it over here and then click OK or add or whatever that is showing in your modem's interface. And that's it. Now open the game. Go into settings, account and network, and network info. There you should see something called NAT type. If you have done everything properly, the NAT type should be open. 
if you have done something wrong then the nat type will be as moderate or closed then you need to redo it again until you see this nat type as open just make sure you have closed the vpns or any other stuff if that is open or not because even after doing all those stuff if you have your vpn turned on this nat type will be moderate or closed okay now try playing 4 to 5 games you will definitely feel almost 99.9% .9 of your ping or latency issues would have been resolved by now you will have like pretty smooth gameplay like you will have your insane hit registrations and all those stuff but even after doing all those things if you are still facing any issues try this out now close all your running applications and open your task manager by pressing control shift escape now try monitoring your network tab Typically, when a system is on idle state, your network's percentage that is being accessed should be 0 to 2%. If it is going more than that, then there is some applications on the background that is accessing your network. So, try to close any application that is accessing your network more than 1 MB. Then after that, press Windows plus R, type msconfig, press enter, and then open services tab and hide all Microsoft services and then select disable all select the manufacturer once so that all the manufacturer's name is sorted out in the alphabetical order now scroll down search for nvidia or amd only enable those services by selecting that and then press apply and then click ok and then restart your pc restarting your pc is really important and that's it pretty much everything is done you don't need to do anything else more than this now hop into your game and then you will definitely feel the difference let me know how you felt it happy gaming